What are you up to today? Oh, I've been digging around. I don't know what to call it today. The damn beaches are so heavy, I broke one of them right off. They're, they're fully right now? They're very close. Hmm. What have you been doing? Oh, I had to get my truck fixed today. Which one? What was it? My work truck. Yeah, well, the yep, the shifter was I giving me problems. The other day. Yep. So I got that fixed, and my right hand turn signal, not that anybody uses them anymore, but that didn't work, so they got that fixed. Been down there all day. Down here, you're right? Yeah. Well, they, they had to get me worked in. So. Boy, I, it seemed to me it would back off pretty damn quick. Well, eventually it will. And then it'll be snow and ice, and then we'll yeah, wish we I'm had this heat. to holler about that. <laughs> it's always well, I something. I want to make that one, finish that one up and see if it's going to work, and then I'll finish another one. I think it will. What the hell did I do this morning? I don't know. What time is it getting to be? Got to be getting close to, yeah, close to 4 o'clock. Yeah, close to 4 o'clock. You see that picture up there? You know what that is? Yep. That's big picture there. The aerial view of our farm up north. Yeah. Yeah, that, uh, remember the time the cows got out over on the Matt Lacoste farm? And they went all the way back there to that swamp? They were. Oh, God, yeah, Denny and I got on horses and tr tried to round them back up through that swamp, get them back in. I should probably just didn't go that far. Oh, they did. Yeah. When was that taken? Oh, that's way before we moved up there. It's 1953. Yeah. Well, I think I'm going to... What are you having for supper tonight? I, I, I don't know. There's plenty in there. Well, we're going to make Philly cheese steak sandwiches again. So I'll bring one of them over sometime. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, you didn't tell me much about the kids. What are they... Right. Had their first day of school the other day, and I guess they all got through it okay. About all I know. You say he worked in a work. Yep, he works at a restaurant bar type place. I guess he's waiting table or a, what do you call it? A busboy where they go around and pick up the dishes when you're done. Oh. Yep. So he's got a job. That's good. Yeah. Well, I mean Where's he been working all this time? I don't really know. I think Boyne City. And I think he got called out, or is getting called out, to go do storm damage. Hmm. So if that's the case, he'll be gone probably over the weekend, I would guess. Was there much dirt in the temperature up there? I don't know. You were at the fair. Yeah, but that was last week. I don't know if the, what the temperature is now. It was hot and humid then. Yeah. Well, I guess just want to come over and check on you, see what was new. Well, I sure am right here. I'll be tomorrow morning. I'm going to see a board two more holes and. You give me the ID, that sticker sitting there. There is about a quarter of a difference. That thing is warped. And I hope the hell I don't screw up and get the wrong one in there. Uh, I'll put it in and find out. Yeah, he does a funny thing to it. Yeah. Oh, God, last night, I didn't have a goddamn time to you this. About three o'clock, I was just really sleeping, and a goddamn big bug went right down my throat. Really? Oh God! And I, <clears> throat> and then I had that 
Oh man, you gotta sleep with your mouth closed. Let uh, Karen get back. I'm gonna get her to, that light in my bedroom. There's nine, I call them, there's nine dead bugs in that bowl. I don't know where the hell they're coming from. Yeah. But, uh, try to live uh, with about 72 degrees. It's pretty cold while I'm through the morning. I really have a cold and like this. Yeah. Sleep better when it's cold. Well, I guess I'll uh, head it for home and get some Philly cheesesteak sandwiches cooking on the grill. Maybe I get Chris to do it. No, she don't get home till five, but we get everything ready. Is Chris working every day? Um, pretty much. He works four tens, so he got he yeah, Monday through Thursday. Four tens. Yep, and then. Well, he gets three days off. Then. No, Friday he goes over to the tech center and does welding for um, more credits or whatever you want to call it. Um, certifications, I guess it's called. Is, uh, has he got any use for that torch? Yeah. Well, you might as well come and get it. All right. I, I, you, I don't know how you work that. you got to get permission from somebody to fill that tank. Yep. I ain't never going to use it again. Yeah. Well, he's got tanks and hoses, he doesn't have the, uh, what, what do you call that, that you hold in the hand, but he'll make it work. Oh good. Yep. If I can find a home for stuff, I, I don't want to give it to anybody, they're going to sell it. I couldn't get over the, the changes that you're making in your place. That's going to be a nice place to have a place all you're going to do. Well, you're going to raise a couple of calves or? Well, that's something Judy wants to do, um, and I don't mind. we got got room to do it. I'm going to have to put up about a 12 by 16 lean-to barn for them to get in out of the weather. Uh -huh. But that whole area there that you've seen can be fenced, and they you might as well be pasturing some calves in there. Try to make use of every bit of ground that you got, you know. So that's probably what I'll do with that. I was going to put sweet corn in there and I was going to put pumpkins in there, but I don't know. Maybe maybe the higher end I can put sweet corn in and that low ground is going to be where the cattle are at. Well, I remember that guy because he was in, a, in line with me getting trial uh, during late. I do remember because I didn't know what a grid system was. So maybe they've changed it, being what it is today. Well, I've seen some of that old clay tile that Joe has dug up, or the uh, or the guy that put the tile in. Have you um, hit any tile yet? The old the old clay tile. Yeah, it's no, all plugged. What I think that, that is back here. I've been thinking about that. Uh, you know. It used to be called the Clinton Trail. It was an Indian path. It all the way from Grand Rapids to Detroit. And you know right down there in the car, you can see where they moved the road. Yeah. And I think that's what's up there on the hill. Because that pail of stuff out there uh, comes from that area. And I got a little white dish out there that I, I know damn well it's been drugged a dozen times, but it ain't cracked or nothing. Mm. And I got a lot of stuff, but, but I'm gonna, if they don't want them, them peaches, I don't want any more. Um, Ava made peach cobbler, and 
I think probably I'll talk to Judy. Maybe we'll come over and pick some and make some peach cobbler. That was pretty good. Back here, no, you? no, Judy knows. Well, Judy will do it. She was all right on that. That was good. I tell you, I did. The hell with her tomorrow. I'm gonna get out of my. <laughs> I didn't know what she was up to. Yep. <laughs> He just gets so sick and tired of that bug crap, you know, it's all the thing. And today I found a can of beans in there, so look out tomorrow. <laughs> Uh-oh, I'm not coming around tomorrow if you're eating beans. <laughs> well, I put that cold pork in there, and by God, I tell you, that was good. Yeah. I like that stuff. I put it on my big sandwiches out of it. With, uh, one time she got, got the other kind and I didn't like it. This Floyd at Walmart, that guy's got a good recipe on that. Really, I'm not hungry. I, maybe I won't eat much tonight. I eat whenever I feel like it. Yeah. Alrighty, well. What was it? Is Joe doing anything right now? Uh, they're getting the hog barn all high pressure washed and sanitized because... What that... Now that's just exactly what I need. I'm going to nail two of them together and put it between the cable and the, the tongue on the... That way the stone won't come in and... Yeah. And... Uh, so you're going to throw that away probably, huh? Yeah, that was extra stuff. I mean... How much stuff do you keep around, you know? Huh? How much stuff do you keep around and then throw it away? I don't know. Look at it. I know. You got damn much. So, yeah, I'm glad. I'm sure he was glad to get it out of there. There's new stuff in here that goes back before 1900 in here. That stuff for horses, that was my great granddad. There is a lot of difference between, you know, I can think back to 1928, 20, I don't, I just, I don't like what's going on now. They're after Clint or Trump again. They ain't never not been after Trump from the day he took office. Yeah. They have been hounding him and hounding him. Making up bullshit. If not him, his wife or his little boy. Yep. The boy didn't have nothing to do with it. Why don't they go after Hillary's emails? Well, you know, he, uh, Hillary, uh, yeah, they were going to, she got out of it again last week. Do you know that Nancy Pelosi's husband got caught drinking? <laughs> Drunk. Yeah. And he tried to buy, buy his way out. Well, you know, I mean, people do that all the time, get caught drinking and driving, but when you're that high up and then you try to buy your way out, that's not very credible. I, I was thinking the other day, if, I, if Trump got in there and I'd have a meeting and I'd say, all right, 30 days, you got to get the hell out of Tip Washington. When I get in there, you ain't got a job. Yeah, you know? well, you wish it worked that way, but it don't. Hell, they got a pension the rest of their life. Yeah. Yep. Thanks to you and the American taxpayers. Boy, I tore that thing apart yesterday, and I just, one of them days I'm going to try it again. That little piece of plate. <laughs> that cable will come out of that off in that spindle. <laughs> well, you got more patience than me. I would just go buy another one. They're only 49 bucks. Well, I don't know. Somebody left one here. It ain't mine. I used to have one. What does it look like? Like that, only bigger. Well, there's a little bitty one in there. Oh, that ain't mine then. It's been hammered then. <laughs> no. I don't, maybe it's Mark. 
Could be. Oh, Mark said that them whatchamacallits and sockets over there, he, he brings his own tools down, so that... So you got them around here somewhere. So he brings his own tools down and when he works on stuff, so he it's easier for him to have his own stuff than trying to dig through yours and find it. Where did all them battery chargers come from? You keep buying them. No, I don't. I don't think I do. I bet you do. <laughs> but I'm, when he gets down here, I'm going to have him cut them off. Throw the rest in the garden. Hell, uh, 